Hey guys, this is Caleb with DSLR Video Shooter and today we're gonna to talk about the best HDMI cable for your camera. Cameras are getting smaller and smaller and there's a lot of fantastic consumer and prosumer cameras that shoot really high quality video. The problem is that most of them use HDMI instead of professional connections like HDSDI, which has a really nice locking connector. So we're left with HDMI. And since these cameras are so small, we don't get full HDMI. We often are using mini HDMI or micro HDMI, which is the little tiny guy. A lot of people will tell you that micro and mini HDMI connectors are really bad and pretty weak. What's interesting is the actual connection isn't that bad. The problem is the weight of the cable. These connections are so small and connectors are so small that when you add a big cable like this, it pulls down on the connection, which is really, really bad. So I'm gonna show you a cable that deals with all those issues and more. So let's hop over to the bench and take a close look. So previously for HDMI cables, I had this little adapter that would go from micro HDMI to full HDMI female. I would then plug this adapter into the camera then I would run HDMI cables to the adapter, whether it be short cables like this or really long runs. But as you can probably tell where this is going, all of these cables are pretty heavy, even a small setup like this. So that would tug on there. And if you needed to run the HDMI to a monitor just above the camera, it, you'd still have to have a pretty substantial loop. So this wasn't working very well. And I recently discovered ribbon cables. And that's what these guys are. And the beauty of these is they are feather light, um, the actual cable part. And uh, if you look closely, you might be able to see the individual tiny microscopic wires essentially in a flat paper thin cable. So this is the kind of stuff that's run inside of the camera actually. Um, so to connect different parts of the camera internally, you'll have ribbon cable. So this stuff is really thin, it weighs almost nothing. Um, what a lot of people use these for are gimbals because you can hook up a monitor, run it off of your gimbal, and even though the gimbal's moving around, the cable isn't going to interfere with the motors. Um, another reason people use them are on drones because they're super light and um, if you needed to rig something up, um, that's not going to be an issue, maybe going to some kind of transmitter or something like that. So um, I've been using them with cameras. So if I open this camera up here, and I can just plug it in, and the connection is really strong, so you don't have to worry about the actual connector. Um, and the cable's so light, you can easily run it to, let's say, a monitor on top of the camera. The other thing I love about these, not only is the weight, but how you can bend them around. So you could do something like this or this, and uh, it's kind of you know, too much of a loop away from the camera. So you can essentially just wind it up and get something in a completely different loop, and you don't have to worry about the cable because it's not going to twist or lose connection. Um, if you're like me, over time, <laughs> When you do stuff like this to normal cables, you get that dreaded color drop where your image goes all green or magenta or something like that. So these are great cables. Um, the one thing I might recommend is if you handle that your cables a lot, um, these don't have any protection over the PCB. This one does, but when they come out of the box, you have kind of a small PCB with tiny microscopic solder joints. So now I wanna show you, if you do get a bunch of these cables and you wanna protect them, how you can add some shrink wrap to them.
So that's how you can get nice, strong shrink wrap on these cables to protect the ends and keep them uh, working for you for a long time. One other thing to make sure is if you get one of these cables and it has a 90 degree, you need to make sure it has the correct orientation to plug into the camera. So this one I bought specifically for Sony cameras because they all, for the most part, have the jack in the same orientation. So if I plug it in, the cable is running away from the little door. Otherwise, if you bought one that was the other way around, you wouldn't be able to plug it in because it would run into the door. So that's the only thing you need to make sure you pay attention to. In the description, you'll find links to a whole bunch of cables on Amazon and eBay. And I'll also include links to this cable, which is a really nice short one for the A6300, as well as a longer one I picked up for the GH4 because the GH4 has the jack reversed when you compare it to this camera. So just make sure you get the right cable and uh, they're amazing, great for some DIY projects, which you'll be seeing before too long. So that's the story on ribbon cables. I've been using these for several months now and really, really love them. So that does it for this video. As always, subscribe to DSLR Video Shooter for more gear reviews and tutorials. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.